Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again. I'm going to be discussing the new Star Wars movie, Rise of Skywalker. So first, I'll discuss in brief The Force Awakens, which I give a pass to. I enjoy it. I think it's pretty good. Lots of flaws, little nitpicks. Didn't like some of the premises, but they didn't destroy my favorite characters, and the story was somewhat okay. I hated The Last Jedi. It soured me on the franchise. As someone who was born in 1971, has been there from the beginning, and someone who loves sci-fi in general, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, Buck Rogers, Stargate, Farscape, the list goes on. Being somewhat of a nerd, a geek, I even enjoy the animated Star Wars shows. I never got through the last season of Rebels, and The Last Jedi kind of soured me on everything, so I never got back to it. I have also collected every Star Wars novel up to the early 2000s. Uh, What is called now Legends, I guess. It's not canon anymore. So at one time, I would keep up with everything. I also role-played as a game master and played in Star Wars universes, even with the original system to converted systems huge fan so when i watched the force awakens and now after the last jedi i was hoping it would redeem the franchise for me there'll be no spoilers no major reveals this will be just my feelings on the matter the surface thoughts so i'm still disappointed maybe it's a halfway Decent movie. Um, I can't fault the actors in basically any of the movies. I think the writing is horrible. The editing is horrible. And for a John Williams score, it's forgettable except for the moments that key you into the original music and that kind of mirror certain scenes. And yes, there might have been a couple of scenes that are look great in all the movies they've been top-notch special effects some pretty good ideas here and there but there's a repetitiveness that bothers me the item to get an item type thing the nonsense little adventures they seem to create the side characters things don't work well and i don't think it's the actors now jj abrams directed the movie I don't care about the producers, but I'm actually not going to blame Disney. For some reason, Disney let Marvel do their thing. And I'm really happy with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They're not all Oscar winning great movies, but for the most part, they're better than average, decent movies. Some are great. So I would say Lucasfilm is to blame. They've just let it go to shit, in my opinion. I just don't feel the excitement. And I'm always a child at heart. If it was up to me, I'd be playing Dungeons and Dragons and Marvel superheroes and Star Wars almost every day of the week if I could. I want it to be good. I want to be engrossed in this story and love the characters. And granted, Daisy Ridley from the first movie captured me. Uh, Most of the actors I'm really happy with. Even Adam Driver seems to be a good actor. But what happens in The Rise of Skywalker is just ridiculous. You didn't redeem shitting on characters and ruining the mythos. And yeah, I'll always have those original movies. I don't have to adhere to this existing or... Okay, these movies are not for me. But make good movies. At least let me walk out of it going, oh, you know, that's not my Star Wars, but that was pretty good. 
consistent. So you don't get a feeling of satisfaction for me. I find this whole thing a wasted opportunity. I don't feel a connection to deep characters that I think they wanted you to have. I just don't see it. It just doesn't work for me. Now, I've been excited for the prequels when they came out. Even had replica lightsabers at their premiere. And the disappointment in them, the critical evaluation of the parts that are bad, the decisions George Lucas made, fine. Uh, I see them, I recognize them. You got some elements in those I might pick out too that I like. Uh, Ewan McGregor, Palpatine, the actor. And there were moments here and there. And he decided to do his own thing. And so he wanted a zany character that almost ruins the first movie. But I'll find elements of Qui-Gon. And so those go, come and go. And there's a disappointment in them. And there were some elements that kind of turn its head on the mythos. So you find out. Um, Anakin Skywalker kills younglings and it adds to that uh, evilness of Darth Vader and maybe some people say it went too far but what they do in The Last Jedi leading into now The Rise of Skywalker just doesn't make sense for me where they think they wanted to go with the story the premise of The Last Jedi was horrible. The execution was terrible. And I don't even care if you want to say it's so subjective. No. I would say in debate that that movie's a bad movie. From its plot and stupid storylines. This one I'm not going to say is a bad movie. It's not good. It's just mediocre to me. Yeah, the special effects are going to wow me. A couple of... Song tie-ins and theme notes will bring me back to my childhood. But it still sticks with me as the movie progresses in a ridiculous pattern. I just don't see the benefit of this. It's almost like, let's just get this done. Let's move on to the next chapters or fine. And the solutions they came up with didn't impress me. None of the um, course correction that JJ tried worked for me. Maybe people will look at it and have nostalgia and I hope people enjoy it and like it. But as a personal fan, going back to the beginning, it's just... Now a whole disappointment. I don't even look on The Force Awakens with that much anticipation if it's on or I want to go back and look at it. I don't feel the the inspiration or the energy to do so. I don't feel the energy to go back and rewatch Rebels to see how that ended. The novels, the comic books, there's no drive for me to look into these things and for me that's a big deal so looking at it that way it cost them my fandom perhaps and look hopefully they get a new fandom and this is where they want to go i'm gonna probably do a first season surface thoughts on the mandalorian because that has given me more hope But the Rise of Skywalker does not help me re reconcile with this new trilogy, 7, 8, and 9. It just doesn't. I wish I could come out here and rah-rah and, you know, they did it. They redeemed themselves. And even taking myself out of it and saying, okay, The Force Awakens is okay, pretty good. The Last Jedi... Horrible. But go in with an open mind. And let them win you back. Sadly, they did not. I don't even have much good things to say about some of the Easter eggs that they 
put in there, characters that show up, just felt chaotic, dry, too fast in some points with no heartfelt moments, and maybe people will consider certain things that happen at the end fit that criteria, but not for me, I just, very disappointed, this is something I wish I could be enthusiastic for and give a good review, but sadly I can, and I don't know what will happen for me in the future with Star Wars, I am interested in The Mandalorian Season 2, I don't think it's perfect, it's not the greatest thing, but it's a breath of fresh air. Maybe that's what I need. When the Rise of Skywalker comes out on DVD, I will go back into it with an open mind. I will try to give it the benefit of the doubt. And I'll even go back and watch The Force Awakens again, The Last Jedi, before I go back to The Rise of Skywalker. A part of me wants this to be good. A part of me wants to justify being in a bad mood or you know, in the grips of depression or things aren't going right in my life and maybe that's skewering my judgment i hope that's the case i don't see it going that way i wouldn't bet on it but i want to be open-minded i used to love star wars childhood heroes uh luke and han I wish it would have been better. So that's my thoughts on it. Do I recommend the movie? No. Do I recommend The Last Jedi? No. Force Awakens, possibly, yes. And if it's your cup of tea and you love it, good for you. And I think that'll be it for this podcast. Thank you for listening. And I'll talk to you all later.